Hey everybody, this is your daily dose of all things royal. Hello, my gorgeous, good-looking friends. It appears that there is a publication date for Harry's memoir being released, and the New York Times is reporting that that date is January 10th, 2023. I don't know if there is a significance with that date, but it is coming upon a time where the UK is trying to get adjusted to King Charles III, as well as the country trying to stabilize with the new prime minister that has just been elected into office. It's being reported that Prince Harry is having a bit of cold feet and going back and forth with some of the content that he included in this book. And at this point, I think Penguin House is just like, look, man, shit or get off the pot. And Harry knows that he has to deliver because his paycheck depends on it. The problem we have here is that being that the UK is in such a delicate place at this moment, if there are revelations that are put in this book that expose any type of scandal, that could actually hurt the country. It's not a good place to be in, and I'm sure his wife is all for it because she would like nothing more than to see the country crumble. Now, here's the thing. Knowing that these two deplorable human beings have a track record of lying at every single turn, who's to say that this book is not going to be packed with lies? And the lies that Harry is now going to unleash in this book could potentially affect the country and the people of the United Kingdom. In my opinion, if Harry does go down this route to unleash some havoc that does affect the markets and does affect your country, then I think that that would be grounds for treason. I think it's pretty sad that with this book and the Netflix docuseries that they're going to be releasing is going to nail his coffin shut to ever being able to go back to the family. Because essentially what he's doing is choosing to be a celebrity and a few coins over the people that had given him his platform in the first place. So if his goal is to become a celebrity, then it is not looking so good for him. Because in the United States, we don't respect him. We don't respect his title, and we don't respect anything that he is contributing to. Neither do we respect anything that the wife is applying herself to in order to self-serve themselves. That's not okay. I believe that this is all going to backfire on him and blow up in his face. We know that Meghan is psychologically manipulating Harry into thinking if he doesn't move forward with this book, then he's not choosing their family and building the life that they both had planned, such as becoming these mega rich celebrities hobnobbing with the who's who of Hollywood. Well, I don't think that that was so much Harry's, that was more so Meghan's. She's going to blame him for ruining her life, essentially. And I don't think that Harry is mentally fit to handle Meghan just saying, you know what, I'm taking the kids and I'm out, and that be it. We know that she's capable of doing it, but Harry most definitely will have a, a breakdown because now you have another woman that's leaving his life, and it's going to trigger all sorts of things like bringing him back to being that 12-year-old boy walking behind his mother's coffin. And we know the story. But anyway, don't think that it's not going to happen. It's the question of when is it going to happen. I think Meghan wants to see Harry destroy his relationship with the monarchy and the family, because if she cannot be a part of it, no way that he is going to ever be a part of it. Meghan would not be able to stand seeing Harry being welcomed back into the family if the two of them divorce. She doesn't want to see Harry move forward or be secure if she is going to be left out in the cold. Because if the divorce does happen, then there's a level of insecurity for Meghan, especially if she doesn't have another man to jump onto, which we all know once she does find another man to jump onto, Harry is toast, especially when he is practically broke. And by the looks of it, the Harkles most definitely are struggling for money. Back in 2020, I read an article by Emily Andrews, and I did save it because I'm into the numbers, and she did an excellent job. And back in 2020, this was before all of the mayhem had been unleashed with the Oprah interview and 
all the things that had been coming out about Megan exposing her from the Tom Bauer book, from the courtiers. My belief that the cost for the legal fees, the cost for their PR and their crisis management, just with Megan alone, is way more expensive than what we're seeing reflected. I encourage you to pause it, check it out so for you to get an idea. But yeah, they're spending a lot of money that is just wasteful. And there's no doubt in my mind that Harry's inheritance is probably almost depleted. And they really need this Netflix money. They really need the Spotify money and this book deal money. Now, don't forget, this book deal was a book deal, I think, of four books. So it's not just one book that's going to come out. Apparently, Harry has a book that he was supposed to release after the Queen passed away. So are we going to get a two for one? I don't know. This is going to be an interesting ride, I think, between now and the beginning of next year. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts below. I'll be back soon with some more content. Bye. I was such a fraud. <laughs>